Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Radio Show. I'm David Knight. Uh, we're going to be joined at the bottom of the hour by Alex Jones in the form of a special report, America Destroyed by Design. You're going to want to stick around and hear that. We also have Gerald Salenti joining us in the third hour. We're going to talk to him about breaking economic news. Of course, uh, Gerald Salenti of uh, Trends Research is a great forecaster of economics and all kinds of trends. He has a lot to say about the Iraq war I guess it's what now, 11 years into it, and we see what's happened with that. So it's going to be interesting to hear uh, Gerald Slinty's comments on that. Now, we've just had some uh, breaking news that's come out. We've got a White House press secretary. Now, this is the new guy. You know, they got rid of the carny. Now they've got an earnest guy. Uh, this guy is uh, Josh Ernest, and um, he's telling it straight. He says, we're not going to wait and just sit. We're not going to just sit around and wait for Congress to write the laws. That's right. Nobody's ever accused Obama of sitting around and waiting for the laws to be written. They're just going to do whatever they wish. And, you know, we've got a lot of examples of uh, congressional scoff laws here. I've got a whole little uh, cl clip here of a bunch of these things. We've got Nancy Pelosi scoffing at the idea that the House GOP would file a lawsuit. She says, uh, not only have we not passed an immigration bill, they have used the president's action to protect some vulnerable parties as a basis to sue the president. Well, the question is, you know, would Obama really obey a new law on immigration? I mean, would uh, Homeland Security obey the laws? Would the illegal aliens obey the laws? I mean, do we really need to worry about immigration reform? I think we're just beyond that, right? We just do whatever the president wishes to do or uh, whatever Homeland Security wants to see our country become. They're going to make it happen that way, whether it's legal or not. Uh, and as uh, Boehner said, he said, this isn't about impeachment. It's about faithfully executing the laws of our country. Well, you know, I'd like to see Boehner faithfully execute the laws of this country and impeach this guy. How many times does he have to break the law blatantly in our face, declare that he's not going to wait for laws to be passed? He's just going to do whatever he wants. How long does that have to go on? You know, we've got some more information coming out about the IRS. We've got uh, IRS officials, we now learn. We're thinking about doing an audit of a GOP senator. That would be uh, Chuck Grassley. And what happened was these uh, emails, uh, supposedly, she claims, the, the lady who lost all of her emails, according to her, uh, she claims that somehow she got Chuck Grassley's emails. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, you know, how do you figure that? And somehow they just got rerouted to her, and she just happened to notice that he was doing something that she thought she could audit him for, you know? Um, come on. We've talked about this many times. Even if I did a special report talking about what are the probabilities of her disk drive going out. You know, even if you say that it's a normal disk drive where you've got a mean time between failure of five years, what are the probabilities of her disk drive going out and six other people's going out at the same time that all have emails that uh, people need for fraud investigation, for criminal action. What's the chances of that happening? And then, of course, there were people who said that their disk drives were actually raid arrays that have a mean time between failure of 500 years. You know, there's not a chance. And not only that, but we know that's giving them the benefit of the doubt, saying that they're telling us the truth, that it's stored only on their disk drives. They're not stored on their disk drives. We've got tweets now from the company that says that it did the IRS backups. And of course, they were required by law to back their data up. They weren't just keeping it on their hard drives. Even if they were, there's not a chance. Even if you take the chances of seven of these things going out at once is like one in 78,000. It's not a chance that that's the truth. But that's not what's happening. They were being backed up by another company. And so what we need to do is we need to hold them to the same standards that they hold other people. You know, you when you go to the IRS, you're not presumed to be innocent. You're presumed to be guilty. If they have reason to believe, if they bring charges against you, you have to prove your innocence. If you can't prove it, they convict you. That's what the House needs to do. Apply those same 
terms to them, make them self-incriminate like they do taxpayers, make them produce the records, and if they get rid of their records and don't hold them, they go to jail. Send them to jail, John Boehner. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and get the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products at infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and as I mentioned in the last break, we're going to be joined at the bottom of the hour by a special report from Alex Jones. He's going to go back into the InfoWars archive to cover his arrest, shown in his first film, America Destroyed by Design, where he illustrated that biometrics are being implemented at driver's license facilities by way of thumbprint scanning in order to bring in a unified national ID card to set up checkpoints on highways and airports. That was a long time ago, guys. We've been talking about this. Alex Jones has been talking about this for decades. It's one of the first films. It was the first film that he did. And so he's going to show how this has all come true. We need people to wake up. That's exactly what we were saying yesterday when we uh, talked to Cheryl Chumley about her book, Police State USA, available at InfoWarsStore.com. People need to understand what's going on in America, and they need to understand where their rights come from. Those are the two core things. You need to know where we are, and you need to know what the foundation of our liberty, of our government, of our country was based upon. And that is that our rights come from God. They're inalienable. You can't take them. It was laid out in the Declaration of Independence. We create the government to protect those rights, not to give us security. If you give up your liberty for security, you will be a slave. Slaves don't have any freedom. And when you have maximum security, that's what they call a prison. 
And we're also going to be joined in the next hour by Gerald Salenti. He's going to talk about the latest economic news. We see a massive readjustment of uh, decline in the gross domestic product from 1% to 3%. A lot of people are saying we're in a collapse. And, of course, there, it's being spun in a lot of different ways by Obama and other people. They're even uh, talking about how we're going to save money with... Um, responses to global warming, but they're blaming it on everything except what the government is doing. So we're going to be talking to Gerald Slinty about that, also about his take on Iraq 11 years after this whole thing began as we see it folding up in defeat. I want to hear what uh, Gerald Slinty has to say about that. But before I get to the rest of the news, I want to tell you that this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. The collapse of the border and soaring meat prices make it clear that there's no longer time to wait. You need to start getting prepared today. Get on over to MyPatriotSupply.com and check out their complete line of preparedness products. My Patriot Supply is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. If you don't have food, you're no threat to the New World Order. They're counting on you to be ever-dependent slaves of their system of control, but you can fight back. You can establish independence for yourself, for your family, by securing your own private supply of storable food. And that's no better way than to prepare than with this Patriot-owned company. Let me tell you, they're the real deal. Alex knows these guys. This is an operation that we're proud to support. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex for special offers to listeners of this broadcast. And for a limited time... They're offering additional discounts off of their already low prices. That site, again, is MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And one of the signs that things are coming together, and there's so many, the collapsing borders, the collapsing economy, the collapsing legal structure that we have in this country, where people in the highest offices no longer even make a pretense of obeying the law. And, of course, in the last news segment, I just mentioned uh, the latest press release where Obama's press secretary said, we have no intention of waiting for laws to be passed. We're going to pursue our own immigration policy. It's like, really? I thought you were already. I thought you and Homeland Security were doing your own thing, <laughs> independent of the laws, independent of the Constitution. But one of the ways that things are breaking down is we see also increased persecution. And this is going on with the communist Chinese of churches. We have a story up on Infowars.com from the New American, Alex Newman. And he says the Chinese communist regime is stepping up its war on churches. Hundreds of church buildings are torn down this year and leaders are arrested. This is what happens to churches, to people who will compromise and try to play along with government censorship and government control. Understand that in China, there is a massive home church movement that is very vibrant, that it's growing, uh, and those people are being persecuted. That's the reason why it's vibrant and growing. There's also a church movement in China that has essentially tried to play along with the government thinking that if they can collaborate with them, if they can go along, if they can, uh, uh, you know, cooperate, they're going to be favored. And they let them go along for a while. They told them what they could and could not have in their Bible. They didn't like the idea of uh, Jesus being referred to as king. They didn't like the idea of the Trinity. They tried to get rid of the book of Revelation. There's a lot of different things. I'm not an expert on it, but I know that they have gotten these churches to compromise on this so they could get official recognition. Very similar to what happens here with churches who apply to the government for their 501c uh, status and are told, shut up, don't talk about injustice, don't talk about anything politically, even if it has to do with life and death issues. Even if we're imprisoning a large portion of the population, just tell your, your uh, people that it's, it's good, that we need the government to... Uh, do things like have a war on drugs because uh, we can't rely on uh, the church to change people's hearts. It's not really a, a soul issue or medical issue or a psychological issue. It's a law enforcement issue. So, you know, when you, when you go along with the government, when you uh, do what they tell you to do, then eventually things come around like they have in China. And they're saying, of course, the most shocking example was in late April, where communist authorities demanded the destruction of a church in Sengjiang. 
that was an officially sanctioned church, a building. Uh, they go in and they tear down this building. Over 1,000 people assembled there to try to protect it. They tried to appeal it. But they say the local branch of the regime responded with 